So let's look at another new feature in the Infinium 11.4 software release, and that feature is eye contours for NRZ waveforms. So up top here, I have a real-time eye of a nice clean 25 gigabit per second uh, symbol. Bottom, I have analysis of that uh, using our standard RJDJ uh, key composition. Uh, so breaking it down into data dependent jitter versus periodic jitter, uh, et cetera, building a model that uh, allows us to measure, in this case, 2 million transitions, but extrapolate out to, with that model, out to how close the eye would be at 1 to minus 10 or 1 to minus 20 uh, bit error rates. Now, Notice though that while I'm analyzed 2 million, 3 million now transitions down here, I've plotted 77 million UIs up top. So that is uh, quite a bit more data uh, in order to see truly transient type events. So the, the, uh, the new NRZ contours can, can help us analyze uh, the, the more information that's up here. So before I do that, let's, let's Turn on some impairments. I'm going to turn on both some random uh, and some periodic um, uh, jitter here. And so erase that, start the analysis again. Yep, here you see I've got 10. I've got not only do I've got more, more RJ, uh, more wider distributions, right? And much more slope here, uh, but I've dialed in uh, 10 megahertz of, of periodic jitter as well that is quickly pulled out by our, our uh, spectral analysis uh, of, of the jitter down here. Well, let's look at our ability to look at these. Again, uh, 1 million transitions analyzed here, 40 million eyes plotted up here. So let's look at our ability to analyze uh, this eye up here. So I'm going to analyze, turn on my controls for my real-time eye. Here's the new control, the eye contour. I go in here, uh, I can specify which contours I want to plot. Uh, again, let's uh, let's unclick a couple of them just to make it clear. Uh, so you can see we're going to plot three eye contours. We're going to highlight, let's highlight the uh, one in the middle. Okay. So I turn on this display contour uh, and it's going to take a little bit of time uh, to build up and analyze. Uh, that data for the eye contour, right? And soon then we get our eye contours, right? So now, while this is a 2D view of how much the eye might close along this axis. Oh, and by the way, you can do a, um, you know, you can change the threshold at which you do that, or you can do a vertical analysis as well. But this is a, a 3D, 3D analysis. Uh, with a 1 to the minus 6, 1 to the minus 12, and a 1 to the minus 9 uh, bit error rate uh, expected eye closure at, uh, at, 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 at the specified bit error rates. Again, nice new feature to take advantage of the, especially of the uh, fast hardware uh, accelerator plotting of the uh, MXR and UXR.